see what we're up against today. Here I have a big old box. Ew, Star Wars. Nobody likes Star Wars anymore. What the hell? Uh, yeah. As we have these uh, new movies that are just social justice warrior uh, springboards, and the uh, creators have actually admitted that by now, which is really sad, uh, we go back to Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. Uh, when Disney got a hold of uh, the Star Wars franchise, they killed the Clone Wars cartoon prematurely, which really sucked, and they started Rebels. And you could immediately tell that Disney took it over because you had characters who bopped around like Disney uh, animated characters. Instead of being all, you know, normal and stiff like uh, normal people, all of a sudden the characters are bopping around all retarded and stupid. And, you know, but as the show got uh, into a few seasons, it started getting better. And by the fourth season, it was actually as enjoyable as the Clone Wars to watch, in my opinion. But at season four, they ended it. Anyway, this I bought because I like speeder bikes and because it was only like six dollars. <laughs> That's what happens when a, you take a shit on a franchise. People don't like it anymore and things get really cheap. And, yeah, let's see what's in this puppy. Rather good pictures of uh, the Ezra character on this, though. I'm kind of uh, impressed by that. What's this little symbol here? It's like little trees. There's some rebel writing. I can't read rebel. I can read bionicle. I can't read rebel. <laughs> Rather nice picture. I mean... You know, that's actually a decent box. I really like the design of this box. Okay, poor Ezra is trapped. Oh, no, he's not. Let's see him. In, let's see him before we even go into the uh, rest of it. Why is there always hair in my freaking things? Oh, because I have a lot of hair. Uh, yeah, just stay there. God, see this? More hair. How awesome is that? Isn't it great having long hair? Yeah. Okay, here's this lightsaber. It's not too bent. Not too bad, actually. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, it turns. How about that? Uh, as you recall, uh, Ezra's uh, lightsaber in the show starts off as a gun, sort of. But it can, you know, turn into a lightsaber as well, which was something that I've kind of always wanted to see in Star Wars, actually. I mean, if their hilts were so uh, customized, uh, why wouldn't somebody have, like, a blaster at the bottom of it? I mean, I know, a dignified weapon for, a, you know, a better time and all that jazz, but... <laughs> Let's face it, uh, the universe and the world is a very bad place. So yeah, he, he doesn't have much articulation at all, which really sucks balls. I don't know, it's like for a while Star Wars figures had as much articulation as modern G.I. Joes did, you know, with uh, joints everywhere. And now, we're back to five points of articulation, just like the old shit. I mean, I don't know, that's just really kind of fucked up. I notice he has a scar on his face. I don't remember when that happened. Other than that, the paint job is pretty nice. He has a nice little symbol on the back. A little bit of paint missing there. A little bit of paint missing on his arm. Uh, all in all, though, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's a good figure, actually. Uh, I just noticed one thing here. Not only does the blade come off, but he has a hook on his leg, so he can actually hang it there. Hang his lightsaber. Man, that's kind of cool. And his hand, you know kind of keeps it in place when he's standing like I mean it's a little bit floppy but with his hand there you know it ain't going anywhere the only thing I don't like about these figures is their hands always look so tiny like even the new modern G.I. Joes their hands are always gnarled like, like like an old corpse or something and this one's no exception his hands are really fucking tiny 
I mean, look at this. This is my hand. This goes across my whole fucking face. This little hand's not going to do that. Even if you spread the fingers, they would not go across his face. It's like the hands really took a nosedive. Eh, oh well. Enough complaining. Let's see the vehicle. Oh my god, look at this. It's just like kind of sitting in the back there. <laughs> it's not like a bunch of parts and bags or anything. It's just like, boop, here I am. Wow. That's kind of nice. It was only being held on by two little, uh, uh, little band tie things. Uh, right away I notice uh, this opens up. As I recall, this notch here holds his uh, lightsaber. That's kind of nice. Uh, the underside has a little clamp there, and that's to fit his lightsaber blade. I think that's a very nice touch, but we'll see if it if it, it can actually hold that without bending the shit out of it. Let's see. That's cool. It has an adjustable foot pegs, so uh, other figures can ride it. Here it has what looks like a button, but it does nothing. It's just for show. Huh, how about that? That literally goes nowhere. I can see there's no guts there. It's just you know, a cosmetic thing. And here's his gear shifts, which move independently. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and that also, just like the foot pegs, uh, allows different characters to ride it. What I'm wondering, though, is how well does he sit on it uh, without looking like he's just looking straight at the sky? Because that's, you know, usually the problem with these kind of things. Okay, take off his lightsaber. And it snaps very snugly into there. That's cool. Lightsaber blade. Let's see. Can I do this without scratching it? Okay, goes in notch one, goes out notch two. Uh, is it bending? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's bending. That's kind of cool. That's kind of weird, isn't it? You have like a little lightsaber sticking out the ass. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that they gave you a, a an opportunity to store it like that, though. I dig that a lot. That's rather cool. But yeah, it doesn't. It looks like the bend to it isn't happening because of the clamp. It's happening because, well, the lightsaber blade is, uh, blade is bent to begin with. That's pretty cool, though. Let's see. Yeah, sitting flush, the lightsaber blade isn't touching the ground either. I like that. Okay, let's see him on here. I see he has no uh, head pivot, so it's like, if he doesn't sit on this right, he's never going to be able to look at uh, where he's going. He'll be looking at the sky the whole time like a freaking uh, uh, whacked out person. I have no fear putting these foot pegs on. I don't get the impression that anything's going to break. Oh, look at that. How about that? He's actually sitting pretty damn upright. Let's see. Oh my god, these little tiny hands are ridiculous. It's like little T-Rex arms or something. Get in there. Yeah, see? Nope, so much for that cushion on the back of his uh, uh, seat there. He ain't ever touching it. But, this is actually not too... It's actually not too bad. Oh my god. There. Yeah, those hands are shitty though, God. They're so tiny. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. I've seen so much worse than this. Like, way worse than this. That looks decent. This looks really decent. And for like only six bucks, maybe seven tops, this is not bad. This is a nice looking Star Wars figure. Huh. I remember a couple of years ago, well, many years ago now at this point, holy crap, is time flying. I had bought a, uh, uh, Star Wars Swoop Rider uh, speeder bike. Oh my god, was that a piece of shit. It's like, Kenner, unlike this one, this one's actually pretty hard plastic, probably because of this feature. They didn't cheap out with this. This is actually hard plastic like it should be. No McFarlane toy shit going on here. And it was droopy. It was like, it was a Swoop Rider, and it went... <clears throat> and I mean, in a lot of representations of, of Hasbro's uh, in recent years of different ships and especially speeder bikes, this shit's droopy, and that's just inexcusable garbage. But this one does not have that problem. I see nothing droopy on this. 
this is really nice. Like even here, I mean, this is made of like a, a slightly more rubbery uh, plastic, but it's not like shit. It's it's a rigid one. I'm really impressed by this. Okay, that's cool. Enough Ezra Bridger. 